So whether you're a large manufacturer or you're just looking to get into the vapor pen game, I highly advise that you do. There is so much money in vapor pens, it's unreal. I'm in the vapor pen industry simply because I know that. You can be too. One of the most important parts of being in the vapor pen game is understanding what cartridge you should buy. But what do you do when there's so many of them? My name is Drew, owner of MrExtractor.com. My terpene profiles are in millions of pens all around the country. I'm here today to tell you the truth about what cartridge you should use in today's episode, how to pick your THC cartridge from the Terpene Institute. Okay, so look, you've got your distillate and you've got your terpenes and it tastes really good and you're loving it and you're like, what products should I pick? Look, we can go on for hours about the differences in cartridges and to be honest with you, later when I have a little bit more time, I'm going to bring in some vape cartridge manufacturers and they're going to explain the exact differences. But what I'm going to do today is give you just a common sense breakdown of some of the things you're going to run into when picking out a cartridge for your line. Now. Without getting into all the intricacies of every different cart, that is a whole nother thing. I don't manufacture carts. I don't want to manufacture carts. I could. It is a huge pain in the ass with a million competitors and no money. I don't deal with it for a million different reasons. But I can tell you a few things. When we first started this company, we were testing our terpenes with distillate. And we're like, dude, this sucks. We suck. We don't know what we're doing. We should probably give this up. We tried a different cartridge after a couple months. Everything we had tasted better, it tasted right. And I was like, oh my God, this whole time it's been the damn cartridge. We never knew. All cartridges are not created equal. Aside from their hole sizes and their glass and the tips and all that stuff, some of them just don't taste good. It can make your product taste like shit. So what I always recommend, when you first start out, grab like five different cartridges, just in general, and just start which one tastes best. You're going to have to look at a whole bunch of different parameters when you're operating. Taste is going to be one of the most important, followed by cloud size. Oh, it's hard to debate on even which one is more important than that. If it leaks, um, it's no good to anybody. So instead of going over every single different aspect, I'm going to save that for a whole series of videos where I bring in a uh, vapor pen, a couple vapor pen manufacturers, and we're going to go over every different aspect of the cartridge and why you should or shouldn't pick one based on that. Problem with that is everything's evolving all the time. So let me just tell you kind of some of the pitfalls you're gonna run into. Keep it simple. So first off, your cartridge can taste different depending on the manufacturer. It can make your good product taste like crap. We got tricked at that when very early in the industry, like I said, we didn't realize it was the damn cartridge. We thought we didn't know what we were doing. I'm sure you guys have run into that too. Always try a few different pens. Now, you can find a pen that tastes great the battery it's coupled with can also make it taste like crap. We do so much testing here. I've honestly ran through thousands and thousands and thousands of cartridges that we've personally tried. And I understand the differences between a lot of them, but sometimes we ran into this where we thought our test was terrible. Again, later, it was a stupid cartridge again, even from the same manufacturer. China is not the most honorable country in the world, believe it or not. They sell you a bunch of good stuff once and they say a bunch of crap the next time to offload some parts. So make sure that you have a consistent quality supplier. Make sure that your cartridge tastes good. If your cartridge does not taste good, try it with a different battery. It is essential that you understand that the combination between the cartridge and the battery is crucial. You can have an excellent cartridge with a different type of battery. It burns it too hot, not hot enough, tastes like shit, vice versa. So before you even go into business, you need to pick the battery that you want to use. Make sure that you can get a lot of them. Couple it with the cartridge you want to use, make sure that you can get a lot of those too, and then start adjusting your product based on that. Now there's all sorts of different types. There's the wicks, there's the ceramic, there's the C cells. So many different parameters that you want to operate under exactly why I don't do this. But what I can tell you is that if you're running into problems, our products taste good. We've tasted, we've tested them in a bunch of different products enough to know that we can't control the manufacturers of the battery in the cart. Switch your battery, try something different. Switch your cartridge, try something different. It's not your distillate and it's not our terpenes. It's most likely your cartridge. Some of them burn hot, some of them leak, whatever. Make sure you get a cartridge that doesn't leak. Leave your pens out for a week. Set them out in a little bit of heat. You don't want it running out into your packaging and ruin your product, giving you a bad name. 
so many things on the cartridge aspect. So I'm leery to even get into it. That's something that, you know, I, again, for the millionth time, I don't like getting into just because of the variety of things. When you're buying a cheap product from China, I've seen so many things from those people over there that is just crazy. You don't need to spend the most amount of money. Now, I can tell you this, for product testing, I use some of the cheapest carts that I can find. I use the wick carts. So the simple black ones with the wick, they taste great. They don't blow the hugest cloud, but it really pulls out the aroma. It doesn't burn the oil. They're inexpensive, they taste great. Other people, they wanna use the really expensive ones. That's cool, depends on your product. If you're blowing really good clouds and all that. What I can tell you is that the amount of terpenes that you use with the wick system is gonna differ from the amount you use with the C-cell. If you got something that burns really hot, it's gonna flash off more terpenes at one time, altering the taste versus something that does it a little bit slower. Make sure that you watch some of our other videos. I'll probably pop a link up here as to what videos you should watch on how to blend your terpenes based on how they flash off and why you can't do things smell versus taste because terpenes do flash off at different amounts of different temperatures. So if you got some major ass coil and you're burning them all off real quick, it's gonna hurt your throat versus something a little softer. It is a combination of events. Just like these terpenes, uh, we've got 20 different things that work together in harmony, mixed with your THC, mixed at a certain temperature, mixed with the oxygen to hit your mouth and create a pleasant flavor. It's complex. Your pen is the same thing. You've got your cartridge, you've got how viscous your distillate is, how many terpenes you have, what temperature you're vaping it at, how the voltage of the battery is affecting it. You are creating a symphony of items that everything's just as important. The THC gets you high. That stuff's the flavoring, the battery supplies the power, the cartridge does the burning. It, you gotta orchestrate it right or you're gonna come out with a poor product. The good news is all you gotta do is just try some things. Process of elimination. Get your cart, throw a few different batteries, which one tastes better? Throw a few different carts on the same battery, just narrow it down, it's not that hard, and then stick with it. Talk to the manufacturer and say, hey man, can you get these all the time? How long have you been in business? Do you switch the model all the time? Carts, man, or something else. Someday we'll come up with something even better than a cart, all right? So look, the Terpene Institute was founded just to give you a simple common sense understanding of the terpene industry and how to make money from it. I'm gonna expand into cannabis and business lines, but for right now, just helping you understand how this works aside from all the crazy stupid bullshit that you find on social media. I'm here only to tell you the truth because simply, the more products you sell, the more products I sell. I'm gonna do my very best to make sure that you sell the most things that you can and make the most money you can, all right? Because you're gonna spend it here. So, go to MrExtractor.com. We've got all the different terpene profiles there. Watch some of the other videos. You should watch them all. College is expensive and you can't learn what I'm teaching you anywhere. College that you go to, you're gonna have some broke ass professor teaching you something he doesn't know anything about. Or you can take it from a person that started this industry that is a multi-millionaire and teach you how to do the same thing. I ain't even gonna charge you, all right? Thank you for watching. See you at the Terpene Institute in the next video. Take it easy.